so glad to be back here with you. We're talking about today a little tip of the pros, the most missed uh, topic in all of statics. And it's not even a hard thing. How are you going to miss this? Because the only thing you got to remember to stay out of trouble and not do this is one thing, and that is this. Y'all know that, don't you? Sokotoa. It's just simple trig. That's the most missed thing in all of statics. Would you believe it? What I have is here, and this, I'm going to go over this little example real quick, and I'm going to show you um, how to do the most important thing that we do in static, and that is just simply taking vectors and breaking them into two components, Cartesian components. How hard is that? I know it's easy, but I don't know. Students have a heck of a time doing it. So, And the main thing we do on you know the most missed thing is using sine, where you should have used cosine, or using cosine where you should have used sine. That is the most missed thing. I promise you, getting sine and cosine backwards. So this is something we're going to talk about today so we don't do that. And this comes with practice, 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 okay? So you can be good, but you got to practice this. Okay, so here we go. My recommendation is for you to, when you do your test, when you do this, is to have one of those little colored clicky pins, you know, that you can do like the green and the blue. And when you have a vector like this, the first thing you ought to do, when you see a vector at an angle, a bell ought to go off in your head. Ding! must convert to components, right? Okay, so this guy has two components, and I love it when my students have a little color code thing that they do their components in, right? And so you have this guy has two components. Um, this guy over here has two components. Um, this guy is going to have two components, and this guy. It's going to have two components, okay? Because they're all at an angle, right? So i got to figure out two, four, six, eight components. Can we do it? Okay, so here's how you do it. In your mind, the easiest thing to do is go ahead and look at the angle that you have and just construct yourself a triangle, okay? And think about that triangle and think, okay, this is the adjacent side. That is the opposite side because that tells me which function to use. Sine for opposite, right? And cosine for adjacent, okay? So it tells me which one of those to use. So in this case, the adjacent side is the x side, and the opposite side is the y side, right? If this is y, then that's y over there, okay? So here, let's do this right quick, and let's see if we can write these vectors, okay? Now I know this should be easy stuff if you're good at it, right? And that is like this. Vector f1 is equal to, okay, because remember, our whole thing is going to be trying to break these into uh, Cartesian components, and i, j, k components. Okay, so I'm going to have the x and the y. So the x is going to be 300 times the cosine of 45 Okay, and that's going in the positive x direction, and this vector is going uphill, so it's in the positive y direction, so plus 300, oh, I forgot to put an i hat on there, uh, 300 sine 45 j hat, okay? So there's vector f1, okay? And, and the two components, this one's positive, that one's positive, okay? Let's try the next one. Now on this next one, on vector F2, they gave me the angle between uh, the vertical up and the vector. So it's here instead of from horizontal up, which we're used to. Now you can say, okay, if that's 20, then that must be 70, but let's just use the 20. And it's easy to do, right? So here, again, just make yourself a triangle, right? There's the triangle, okay? I know this angle, so in this case, this side up here is going to be the opposite. So the x component up here is going to be the opposite, is going to be the sine. This guy's going to be the sine. And the adjacent is over here. This is going to be the, this is going to be the cosine. Okay? And so what do you get? You get for F2, vector F2. All right, so vector F2 it's going to be this, 400, oh, and so what do we have here? 
the y component is uphill but the x component is in the negative direction right so here we go negative here's the x first 400 and the x component was what oh it was sine wasn't it 400 sine 20 i hat and then the y component is uphill that's positive so plus 400 cosine 20 j hat so there's that one okay let's look at vector f3 uh oh where'd my red pen go here it is in my other pocket Okay, vector F3, again, think about a triangle, okay? So here's the, here's the angle they gave me. So the X side is going to be cosine because it's adjacent, and the Y side over here is going to be sine because it's opposite, okay? Here we go. Vector F3 is equal to, okay, and the X is negative and the y ooh, is negative so both these are going to be negative components aren't they so negative 150 times the what's the x side cosine of 15 degrees minus y component going downhill 150 oh i keep forgetting my i's and j's doing an i hat 150 um sine um 15 degrees uh, J hat. Okay, so this isn't too bad, right? Once you get the hang of this, it's not too bad. Again, over here, next vector, think about a triangle. Okay, the adjacent side is here, so this would be cosine. The opposite side over here, that's sine. Okay, and what do I have? I have, in this case, I have a positive x, but a negative y. Okay, so f4. Positive x, what is x going to be? x is the sine, isn't it? 250 sine of, well, how many? 20 degrees, i hat. And then the y is negative going downhill, so minus 250 cosine 20 j hat. Okay? And that's it. And I'm going to tell you what, you're going to write vectors like this all the way to the very last day of statics. So, you need to get good at it. So if you practice these tricks, I think just making a little triangle in your mind and identifying which side's sine and which side's cosine keeps you from messing this up, right? Because I've seen students that are trying to like do this and say, oh, that's uh, the sine of 135, or whatever. That's, that's a bad way to do that. Use the angle given, okay? And just say, okay, are the components positive or negative? That tells me my signs. And make yourself a little triangle. Easy as pie, and then you won't miss the number one miss static topic, right? Don't do it, or I'm going to come after you. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.